Over the years, I've got more and more interested in painting illusions and how you perceive something which you imagine is real, but isn't real. What I'm dealing with is reality meaning the present and memory meaning the past. So you, you're joining the two together. Everybody does that really. You can't not do that. But, but people often do it without actually thinking about it. All my paintings in the last few years have dealt with looking very minutely at the landscape. So you look at the landscape and you see more and more and more things the more you look. The way that I choose to paint, I hope reflects that way of looking through things and past things and into things. The large painting for the exhibition is painted on, on paper and then it's repainted with watercolours and gouache. And then almost the whole painting was painted out with oil paint, but painted out in a way that reflected the seaweed that was on the surface. There is a series of small leaf paintings which are almost botanical studies. What I've done is taken photographs of them, very minutely cut out the, the, the leaves and placed them on the top of the initial botanical studies. So you're not quite sure when you look at the work whether you're looking at a painting well, you are looking at a painting and you're looking at a photograph at the same time, but the two things look exactly the same. It takes me ages to find exactly the right place to reinsert the leaf in the landscape. Because you've got to get it so it looks right, it looks natural. It becomes very difficult to know what has been contrived and made by man, if you like, and what's been made by nature. I've been doing Cornish stone paintings for 10 years. They've evolved over that period. What I normally do is place the, the stone on the painting and then paint them very meticulously on the painting. What I did recently was take a photograph of a stone and for some reason it came out a really weird colour, but very, very beautiful. So I started painting the stone from the photograph, which wasn't quite the same colour as the stone in actuality, but it, it, it almost told you something more about the stone than the real stone. And so that's what these paintings are about. The Woods Lane Gallery is a small gallery, but an intimate gallery. You can sort of see what it looked like in your own home. And Petronella, who runs the gallery, is obviously very, very serious and only puts on really good work. <laughs>